Luke chapter 18. Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. Nimekuja kugundua ya kwamba watu wengi wamekosa kupata nafasi ya ku ya, ya kukua katika neema because they are not persistent. They are not persistent. And maybe that is the word that we, we are going to use today. The parable of the persistent, persistent widow. Anapatia na fananisho ya mama ambaye alikuwa ni mjane. Bwana yake alikuwa amekufa. Na Biblia inasema ya kwamba akawa ame nyanganywa mali yake na vitu zake zikawa zimeenda then akaamua atamuendea judge ama atamuendea mkuu wa hiyo wa, wa, wa mahali pale at least amuitishie ama amulipishie lakini neno la bwana linasema hivi ya kwamba in a certain town there was a judge that is verse 2 he said in a certain town there was a judge who neither feared god not cared about uh, people or not cared about what people thought and there was a widow in the town who kept coming to him with a plea grant justice grant me justice against my adversary for some time he refused but finally he said to him to himself even though i don't fear god or care what people think yet because this widow keeps bothering me or keeps coming, I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually come and wear me out or attack me. And the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God bring about justice for his chosen one who cry out to him day and night? Will he, uh, 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 will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice. And quickly, however, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? Bwana pewe sifa. Nimesema jabu moja ambalo linazui mingi kukua ni kwa sababu they are not persistent. They are not persistent. Unakute kwamba huyu ambaye alikuwa ni hakimu, ambaye haheshimu anadamu, ata haheshimu mungu. Mama mjano wakati ya memuendea several times. Una, haka muendea several times. Haka muendea. Haki muambia ya kuamba tafadhali. Nilipishie kutoka kwa maadui zangu. Alafu anaenda. Alafu anarudi tena. Kwa ile ofisi. And the Bible says, wakati moja wakati huyu hakimu ama judge, aliona vile huyu mama mjane amekuja. Alisema moyoni mwake. Si ata kama mimi siogopi mungu. Siogopi mungu. And even I don't care men think. Ata mimi sijari wanadamu wanasema nini. Si uyu nitasema alipishiwe. Kwa sababu sasa ata nishokesha. Amekuja hapa maramoja so many times. Amekuja hapa. And the Bible says, Yesu wakapatiana hiyo fananisho. Kuenishana ya kwamba, kama kuna kitu mkristo watapata, lazima awe mtu wakupasist. Lazima uwe katika hali ambayo ni ya kupasist sana. Many Christians utawakuta hapa pa giving up. The moment mtu wamefanya jabu moja marabiri, na nakuta ya kwamba there is a, a stubborn brook. Unaona ya kwamba anainua mikono. Asema hilo jabu niliona haliweze kani. Ilo jambu niliona haliweze kani. Maybe kuna watu ninaongea nao. Wewe uliombea jambu moja tu, malatatu. And from that, ukachoka, ukachana nao. Na watu wengi wamepotelea katika hilo jambu. Mfalme moja wa suriata, alisikia ya kwamba Elisha anakufa. Hako kitandani. Haka muambia, sasa baba yangu, baba yangu. Nitaachwa na nani ukikufa na wewe ndio ulikuwa unaniambia wakati adui wamejitayalisha wavamie wa, wa nitafanya nini Biblia inasema ya kwamba Elisha akamwambia shukua nini mshale mmoja na uta ufungue dilisha ikielekea mashariki alafu upige nini mshale Elisha akamwekelea mkono akapiga mshale akaambua huo ni mshale wa ushidi wa Bwana 
Ilishota alikuwa naambiwa, hiyo ni nafasi ya Bwana sasa. Umehusisha Bwana katika vita zako. Alafu akaambiwa shukua mishale upige shini. Akashukua tu michache, I think three all yeah, I think three all two. Akapiga mara ya kwanza shini ya pili and then akachoka akaweka shini. Elisha akamu, akamkemea, amuliza mfalme, kwa nini umechoka haraka hivyo? Kwa nini umepiga michale miwili mitatu? Ambiwa, na wewe utashida adui zako mara tatu peke yake. Kama ungepiga shini mara ishirini, ama mara hamusini, ugeshida adui wako mara ishirini ama hamusini. But now, kwa sababu umeshoka too soon, umepiga mbili tu tatu, alafu umeashiria. And many people are like that. Naona ya kwamba ameombea jambo mara moja tu. And simply because amefunga siku saba na haliku tendeka, analiweka pembeni ama analiweka kando. Welas, tunambiwa hapa. Sisi tunapaswa tuombe na sutu, tusije tukakufa loo ama moyo. Then Jesus told his disciples this parable to show them that they should always pray and give and not give up. Ya kwamba tunapaswa tupasisti katika maombi. Na sisi tusifanya nini? Tusipate kushoka. May God help us. Kwa hivyo kube kuna maombi ya bayo unapaswa uyombe sade hii. Uyombe sade inakuja. Uyombe siku ya kesho. Uyombe Tuesday. Uendele na uendele pasipo kukoma. Hainu mala moja uwe tunasema haa. We pick a tumor goti. Tari ukwe maudo. Brethren, nigetaka ni wambie the truth. Nyinyi na sisi ambo tumeokoka. Mambo kupata ya wakristo inakuwaga na ugumu sana. Na diposa unona huyu mujane anaenda in the morning, saa saba na jioni. Mpaka huyu ambaye hamjui mungu. Haeshimu mwanadamu. Aga sema ya kuamba, atimiziwe hoja yake. She is wearing, another Bible says, she is wearing me out. Leu ni ano gidiye. Kule kedu mutako na honoki if you cannot persist. And the word is persist. I also remember this time that uh, Elijah Elijah aliua 450 bal prophets on Mount Carmel. Akawahua wote. Alavu wakaangalia ahabu wakamuambia ahabu. Enda ukule na ukunye. Kwa zibabu ninasikia gurumo za mvua. Lakini ya kukua wingu ya ata wingu ya mvua ata moja. The sky was completely blue. So now what happened? Bibiri nasema yeye Elijah the Tishbite akaenda kwa mlima kuomba. Akaweka kichwa chake katikati ya miguu. And he prayed. He prayed mara ya kwanza. Akaomba, akaomba Mungu, miaka mitatu na nusu sasa imeisha. Na ulisema kutakuwa na mvua. Na kwa kinywa changu nimeambia mfalme nasikia gurumo. Aka intercede. Alafu wakamuka akiwa amechoka. Akamuambia nini? Akamuambia Elisha, enda uangalie kama utaona kama kuna mvua. Ama kama kuna wingu. Bibiria inasema what? Alienda akambiwa ya kwamba. Aliona ambiwa, go and see. Upande wa bahali kama utaona wingu. Akasema hakuna kitu kama isha. So wakati alikuja akambiwa the second time. Gutile kedu ona katu kama wekara onekana. Aliweka kichu wata na katikati ya migu. And this prophet prayed. Akamulilia mungu sikunyeshe. Nimesema kwa mfalme hende ya kakule na kakunye kuna mvua. He interceded the second time. Kishu wa katikati ya mungu. Amuambia go. Enda uangalia tena upando wa bali uone kama kuna. Ambiwa hakuna kitu inaonekana. Hallelujah. I said mungu watusaidia sana. Na kanisa la buwana li na itaji kusaidiwa. Wa kristo, more especially wa kristo. Wa kristo wengi, wanatakanga one touch. Mambo ya one touch. Hapa kwa hii madhabahu, lazima ulirie hapa mara nyingi vile inawezekana. Mano watu wengi wanataka nini? Wa kristo wengi wanataka mambo ya halaka halaka, itimie. Wanataka receive. Wakianguka wanafikiria wamepokea. Haa, ukianguka na uamuke. Walafu unapasisti. Neno la buwana linasema ya kwamba musikubali moto wa madhabahu ukafanya nini? Ukazime. Usiku na mshana. 
moto wa madhabahu kuzima ama kutozima ni kazi gani washa niwaambie it is every day kuna mtu wa kuweka kuni every day kuna mtu wa kuweka kuni na huyo mtu ni wewe every day unanikuta ninaweka kuni moto yangu ya pesa ninaiweka kuni every day every day moto yangu ya maombi ninaiweka kuni every day every day every day ninaiweka kuni lakini nikinyamazia dakika kadhaa hata haiwezi kaenda 2 hours imezima first kings chapter 8 is first kings chapter 18 and verses 41 the bible says and elijah said to ahab go eat and drink go eat and drink for there is the sound of a heavy rain so ahab went off to eat and drink but elijah cried to the top of mount carmel bent down to the ground and put his face between his knees na na pia hiyo ni ya kushokesha and the bible says he bent down he bent down to the ground and put his face between his knees go and look towards the sea he told his servant don't forget servant wake wa elijah alikuwa nani alikuwa elisha akamwambia aenda agalia upande wa bahari and there is, uh, 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 and and he went and up he went up and looked there is nothing there look at this again there is nothing there go and look towards the sea he told the servant and he went up and looked there is nothing there he said seven times elijah said go back seven times yani anaomba 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 mara ya pili anasema rudi lazima mungu ufanye kitu anasema rudi and there is nothing there is nothing completely nothing and the bible says a third time go the and the same statement there is nothing the third time there is nothing the fourth time there is nothing the fifth time there is nothing until the seventh time there is nothing and this man of god elijah he prayed he persisted mpaka waliokuwa katika new testament akina james james akaandika ya kwamba elijah or elijah was a man just like we are alikuwa ni mwanadamu kama sisi but he prayed earnestly kwa bidii that it would rain and the bible says it rained ni kazi yako kuweka kuni unaweka kuni hiyo moto hiyo maombi ku persist first samuel chapter 1 verse 7 this went on year after year Whenever Hannah went up to the house of the Lord her life provoked her till she wept and would not eat One thing I want everybody to see is that this family had a challenge Kuna wake wawili mke mmoja hana mtoto But the Bible says mwaka baada ya mwaka mwingine Hana alikuwa anaingia kwa madhabahu Pasipo kujua pia ni Mungu alikuwa amefunga tubo yake kuligana na Biblia. But year after year, mwaka baada ya mwingine, Hana alipatikana kwa madhabahu. Ako na shida. Now this is contrary to many people. Watu wengi wakipitia challenge kidogo hivi na shida. Ah, unaona anakaa nyumbani. Ah. Unamuona ya kwamba anakuambia kwamba e, 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 I'm taking my time. E, I'm taking my time with God. God a time mnajua kuna tofauti ya Mungu nyumbani na Mungu kwa madhabahu na ndipoza unaona huyu shida ako nayo lakini alileta kwa madhabahu mwaka baada ya mwingine mwaka baada ya mwingine mwaka baada ya mwingine year after year alikuja maji na anakuja mwaka unamalizika last year i was here asking god to give me This year go do something. Next year anarudi akiwa hana. The word is persistent. 
Many people are not persistent. Year after year. Mwaka baada ya mwaka. Ilo jambo abalo unataka mungu walifanye. Liobe pasipo kukoma. Jesus gave this parable encouraging his apostles and disciples that men ought to pray and not to give up. Na nimeseba kuomba ni kuni unaweka kwa moto. If Elijah played kishwa kwa mgu seven times. He bent down kishwa katikati mu seven times. Na si ati hivi daka moja anamuka. No. Mpaka ya saba kambiwa there is a crowd imeonekana kule lakini si yake ni mkono wa mwanadamu akasema that's it hiyo sasa nimefika uobe mpaka kuwe kuna kasai nikameonekana hiyo kasai ni mvua mkubwa mawibu, mawibu, maombi yako imejibiwa praise the name of the lord wanapewa sifa let's go to the book of joshua mimi nahisi kuna uwezo mwingi wa Mungu kupatia watu waliyoshoka waliofika mwisho new energy to persist new power to persist praise the name of the lord now the gates that is uh, uh, Joshua chapter 6 now the gates of Jericho were securely barred because of the Israelites or oh, Jericho was tightly shut up or it was fenced up No one went out and no one came in. Then the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have delivered Jericho into your hands, along with its king and its fighting men. March aloud and say to once with all the armed men, Do this for six days. Have seven priests call it a trumpet of lambs horn in front of the, of the ark. On the seventh day, much allow the said seven times, with the priest blowing the trumpet. When you hear them sound a, lo- a long blast on the trumpet, have the whole army give a loud shout. Then the wall of the city will collapse and the army will go up. Everyone straight in and take possession. And take possession is my addition. Look at what the Bible says. Now the gates of Jericho or the city of Jericho was tightly shut up. And the reason being because of the children of Israel. That was the reason. Yaani Mungu anakuja na anasema kwa jia ya unabii. Joshua, I have given you Jericho. Everything that is in Jericho and its kings. Viongozi wake wote nimewapeana mikononi mwenu. Jericho nimepatianwa. But the Bible says Joshua wakati walifika mahali pale wakakuta ya kwamba that Jericho was completely shut in. So that you don't possess. That is why another day I see the kingdom of God is not an open field where anybody comes and you pick whatever thing you want. At the time it requires fight. At other times it requires persistent battles. Making war today, making war tomorrow, fighting this battle today, fighting another one, and another one, and another one. And this is the, why the Bible says, Jericho nimewapa, lakini mji wa Jericho umefungwa hakuna mtu completely, hakuna mtu ageigia wala agetoka. Nobody can enter, nobody can come out. Na unasema umetubadia, and then Joshua kabiwa, Joshua, I have a formula for you and the children of Israel. I have a formula. Do this. Shukua nafasi. Pata nafasi ya kuzuguka Jericho. Every day na watu hawa, wawe ni wazee, wawe ni wagonjwa. Wawe watu wa aina gani? Usiwahurumie. Wewe na jeshi mzima na ma, 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 the priest makuhani na the Levite. Zugukeni mara ya kwanza the first day. And the first day nothing happens. Ona matia igwira bu 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 bu. Aya ni kwajia ko inaina. Twadio kale ya bere. When I waka odoka inaina ogu. Goti ale kedo kila inaina. The first day. Wameizuguka and nothing. Wangapi umeona hiyo scripture tumesoma? There is nothing. Wangapi umeona hiyo nimesema ya kwamba 
ni gumu sana kuabiwa umeoba the old dollar ka hali kidu kilone kana okero there is nothing hata hii wanazunguka the first day the first day wanaizunguka wamebeba saduku la agano priest wameongoza levis wamekuja nyuma sasa watu wote pamoja na wazee na watoto wamezunguka wamezunguka the first day one time wakati walimaliza wakaambiwa nothing Joshua akaambiwa the second day Jericho kuanguka seven times imagine wamezunguka mpaka mara ya sita every day alafu wakaambiwa no Jehovah Mungu wa Israeli aliye watu wa Misri amesema siku hii ya saba muzunguke mara saba imagine one day going round Jericho seven times na mkimaliza naambiwa msinyamaze wala mko na tarubeta na na, 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 na pembe mpige halafu wao wengine mdomo mtupu mpige kila yani hakuna kitu inaachwa lakini wakristo wengi mimi yo, kitu nimeombea mimi niliashia Mungu Mungu kimwashia mambo na yeye ananyamaza for a long time hata niliashia Mungu usijawashia yeye maana utashaga utaikuta hapo hapo tu na utakuta hakuna kitu anafanya na haongei wangapi let me ask eh? let, let me ask for sure kulingana na hali yole na vile uko kuokoka heshima zako mambo yako yote unaweza ukavumilia hiyo nimewaambia Uka, unaweza ukapasist kuzunguka jeriko seven times one day na ni mwanadamu ana, anasema seven times every day one time every day the seventh day seven times alafu wabio upige kelele hii si mchezo iko hapo it is something that have costed our energy tume sweat tumezunguka mpaka mpaka tumeitwa wajinga usiducheze akili don't tell us that one day mekuja na kuta ya, 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 ya jeriko ipomoke it's not the formula the formula is persistent you persist going loud you persist ay 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 praise the name of the lord mungu atusaidie sana na ukizunguka mara ya kwanza jeriko hakuna sign ya kwamba you will take jeriko umezunguka mara sita hakuna hata kaklak kwa ukuta ya kukuonyesha ya kwamba jeriko you are taking it by force by fire mpaka mara ya saba hata walikuwa wanasema mimi nilisema niliangalia wanasema ati ukula uli crops nilikuwa nasoma vitabu zingine ya kwamba ukuta ulienda na huko ndani it, it was a miracle ukuta wakati walizungua wakimaliza iliigia such that wale walikuwa ndani walishangaa yani ma Neta ukireta ugakora nyumba yako dere rudhigo hakuna mahali na sijui kwa nini walikuwa naabiwa seven times Elijah prayed the sixth time nothing the seventh time ndio wingu Jericho ikazungukwa six, six times no ishara no sign but the seven seven times it came down only one word only one word only one word adwa guy persistent only one word in life persistent Matthew chapter 7 and verse 7 ask and what and you shall be given and then they say knock eh the door that we would done will be will be opened and then when i say seek you shall amplified says keep on asking i love that that that, that translation keep on asking lord jesus give me this lord this is my sixth time I have come Lord give me a special breakthrough. 
Lord Almighty God, open for me financial doors. This is my 60th time. Keep on knocking. Hallelujah. Itaombea guvu za kuweza kustahimiri na kupasist. Things may not be very good. Everywhere you go, you hear Elijah saying and telling Elijah, there is nothing. Malayatano, muvua inyeshe, there is nothing. Mara ya saba kuna kawingu kameonekana. Mwambie aondoke sasa kwa mlima kuna mvua itanyesha. Nishike mkono Bwana. Nishike mkono. Nishike mkono Bwana. Nishike mkono. Oh nishike mkono. Nishike mkono Bwana Nishike mkono Twende na wewe Bwana Twende na wewe Twende na wewe Bwana Twende na wewe Ha Naombe ya watu wa chachi ambao mungu wana wakweza guvu. Kupasi isti mundu wana kaga ya mokewu. Hata kukakwa madhambahu na kufanya kazi. Mutu wana onekana haa. Inuwe ni mikono yenu beleza buwana. Wegine kule nyuma tuombe. Rababuli laza, rabaganda rababuli laza, ria saka baganda rababuli laza. In the mighty name of Jesus, King of Glory, God, ria rabarabaganda. Yokoka wa kuje upande wa mbele Mashare Shabudenya Aruto Aruto Amodani Makeihoyo Makeihoyo In the name of Jesus Fire, okay. 